Hello fellow survivors and welcome to the pitch black dark here in Timberwolf Mountain Cave. We are here uh, coming from Ash Canyon and what we're going to do we're going to go to the summit today. We are on day 19 and we got quite a few things secure including the moose hide and uh, that's pretty much what we're going to head towards after we've been to the summit. I'm just going to douse this. Let me just do a quick inventory check because when we get to the summit we have quite a lot of stuff. We got quite a few books, or rather we have one book. How much is left reading of this? Quite a bit. Uh, this can be refueled. Yeah, combat pants needs repairing here. Yeah. Can you hear that hum? That's very strange. Not sure I've ever heard this hum before in the cave. Hmm. Anyway, let's head outside and we're gonna make our way to the summit now. <clears throat> so the we'll go to this uh, deer clearing cave over here. Did I map this by the way? I did. We have uh how much food do we really have? Not that much actually. We should maybe hunt. But it's not a clear day. So I think we'll wait to hunt uh, until later. But I don't really want to use a match if I can avoid it. We got enough cattails to sustain ourselves for a little while. If this deer runs back into the cave, then I would maybe kill it, because it's in the cave anyway. There's a deer clearing cave. The woods here. I don't think we need that though, because we have a lot of wood already. Warming up. Nothing in here. Anything in the back? Oh yeah, some coal. I'll take that. And now there is a container here actually. Let me see condition of this. That's right. Now there is a container here you can open. So we're going to go check that out too. We are probably going to be heavy, but what's important is that we're not heavy when we go up the ropes. But let's have a look. There's also a sapling. Oh, there are two saplings. But over here, you see this, uh, this tree that's fallen over? There can be a container there underneath it. Oh, there it is, popped into view. You got maple and birch. We'll leave those for now. There can also be a container at the top uh, on this little this little hill. There's a dough makes such weird noises. I am a bit cold, so I should maybe run a little bit. Let's actually check the top first. So there's a container right there. And then up here you have a uh, you have more containers. But Usually not an interloper though. We can get some crates and whatnot. Yeah, so up here we have this box, which I think is possibly new. We could maybe break it down, but we'll do it another time. But on lower difficulties, you can find another container up here. What we want is this container. Let's see what's in here. Soup. Food. Perfect. And whenever you use this to open it, I think condition goes down by like 5% or something like that. Cloth. Scrap metal. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. So just, just be a little bit careful with the... Um, the condition of the hacksaw because it can happen that it breaks in which case you'll be locked out of the container I can't feel my hands so there are two ways up to the summit we're gonna take the cave route so up this way here you eventually get to a fork in the road 
And in that fork in the road, you can go left or right. If you go right, you end up at Eric's Falls, where I think there's actually matches now. They changed it, or, or is it a memento? I can't remember. There's something to collect there. But the problem with Eric's Falls is that the, the bear is in the way. You can get past the bear by well, distracting it, killing it, crawling past it, shooting it with this. But we don't really need to deal with the bear. And we don't need to loot everything right now either. So the alternative is to go left, which takes you on a rope climb up into a cave. And in that cave you can get some coal, you'll warm up, and then you can go to the last rope. Okay. We are a little bit heavy though, so we need to be careful with that. Uh, it doesn't matter if we're heavy when we get to the summit, because then we can just uh, really go down. Wolf has killed a rabbit. You can go this way up here, and then to the left, but you can also go this way up here. Through these rocks. It's a little shortcut. It's, it's like a little hidden shortcut. It's not an exploit or anything, it's just like a little shorter route. It's a little bit safer. Keep in mind once again that when I say things like, well, the bear is over here or something, that could change in the future with the uh, wildlife spawns. So just uh, generally be wary of animals, particularly in narrow areas like these, where you don't have much uh, room to maneuver. Here you can see actually the bear is out. Those are bear prints. Which direction? He's going back home. So he's... Over here somewhere. Can you see the bear? Mm, yeah, actually, very hard to see, but right there, he's walking away. A general good rule to follow with animals is that, regardless of whether you know you're sure uh, if an animal's there or not, you should always give yourself a wide berth, you know, a good distance. When you go around a corner, you know, don't go necessarily around a corner like this, you know. But go around a corner like this, like wide. Because then if there is an animal there, then you have time to react. And that's usually what keeps you safe, especially on, when you're low health. Okay, we are cold. That's okay. Let's see if we can uh, eat and drink to not be heavy. I think we probably... Yeah, we can. Let's eat a bunch of cattails. And then we should be alright. Yum yum. Cattail stalks. That's probably good enough. Then we have a drink too. And now we can climb this rope. A double rope. Glitch is still in effect. <laughs> so up here, this is called a secluded shelf. It's a little niche area. Uh, you can sometimes find maple saplings up here. Um, I don't see any right now. But yeah, you can find it up here. And then this cave leads to the other side of Timwolf Mountain, next to the rope you need to climb up to the summit. So this is one of the routes to take. I wonder if I can map this. I am cold, but it's okay. Yeah, okay. So you, you map quite a bit <clears throat> because of the... um. The height we're at. So this is the cave to Ash Canyon. Up here is the deer clearing cave. And we kind of walked up here and around. And up this rope. And now we're going in here. And we're going to come out somewhere over here on this side. Okay, so let's go through. Let's see. I think I'm also going to sleep in this cave for a little bit. Because we need to be rested to get up to the summit. There is some loot in here also, not a lot, but a little bit. If you're playing on lower difficulties, 
This is one of the areas where you can find the lantern, the Spelunkus lantern. It can be in here. Just look for it in the, the snow patches around. I'm gonna this way. And uh, we're going to sleep in here because going up the rope to the summit is a very long rope. You can manage to get up there with like half of your stamina left. Yeah, this is where, here you can find Spelunkus uh, Lantern if you play on lower difficulties, like around here. I'm gonna pick this up, I probably won't use it. Books. I'm gonna check here quick. Uh, if you have like half of your uh, fatigue left, you can probably make it all the way up there. But uh, you'll have to take breaks and you'll be exhausted and you can't carry too much stuff because then it will just collapse. You need to, if, if you're quite light, for example, right now I can carry 40 kilos. Let's say I carry 30 or 25 then I probably will be getting... I'll, I'll be getting up that rope with about half of my energy left. But in my case, I am quite heavy. So it's best to be not necessarily fully rested, but at least have enough. Because you don't want to get stuck on the rope. You don't want to climb up there and then halfway get stuck. And then having to force to sleep there. It's, it's no good. We'll probably also stay at the summit a little bit to just organize inventory, maybe read some stuff. Okay, this should be the way out. More wood, which I'm just gonna take and then dump it. It's nice to take wood up there because we can make a fire that burns for a while, but I can only carry so much stuff. Should be up ahead, I believe. It's quite a long cave, but I mean, it is going through the entire mountain. So it's meant to be a bit long. Check all the corners for coal. This is why I always carry the lantern, because you need it in places like these. And it saves you having to use a torch, and that will cost a match. So it's always best to have the lantern. So here we are at the exit, but we are going to sleep here for a little bit. The weather is okay now, but we're still going to sleep for a bit. So just to make sure we have enough energy. So I would say sleep maybe two hours, maybe three. Mm, let's sleep three hours. And then we need to dump some stuff. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't get... Uh, Windy out, doesn't sound like it. No, oh, it does sound like it. If it's a blizzard, I'm still gonna climb up there because we can just make a fire in in the, the plane itself. So it's okay. It doesn't really matter what the weather is. Not at this stage. Alright, so we're still too heavy. So I'm gonna dump some stuff here that we don't need to take with. This is very heavy. We'll leave that. Uh, we got quite a lot of coal. We don't need that much of it. Let's drop like seven. And then we got... Uh, I do want to take most of the rest with me. I only really want to drop natural resources. I guess I can drop... Uh, maybe two more coal. Yeah, that's good enough for now at least. And let's see what's like. It sounds like it's a blizzard outside. But if it is, it's okay. We're just gonna go to the right into a little small cave and then climb up. It is a blizzard outside. I'm actually not that cold if I'm in cover, which is great. So just go towards the right and you'll eventually go uh, and get to the rope. We're gonna check out this cave though. That tends to have some mist glute and also a rope. We're gonna do that. Uh, 
Oh, well, there's the rope. We're going to head this way. There's a carcass as well. We'll grab the feathers. Okay, and here's the little cave. And here you can usually find this rope, which you can use to attach to a rope anchor to get up to the summit easier. Uh, however, we're not going to do that. We're going to come back here another time in the future and pick up the rope then. And then we'll attach those rope anchors. We don't need it right now. Okay, so we're going to climb up to the summit now in this beautiful, gorgeous weather. Typical Timberwolf weather. But it doesn't matter if we get cold because we're going to stay there for like at least probably a day. Just organizing stuff and opening stuff, breaking down crates. So we'll be okay. It's not a very long journey in the in the blizzard. Let's keep following this right wall here. Just basically stick to the right, and you will find a rope. It should be up ahead. Here it is. And then we climb that. Make sure you have full sprint. By the way, the, your clothing, you know, it reduces your sprint. So if you if you don't know, the red part in your sprint meter there is how much less you can sprint because you're cold, sorry, because you are heavy. So for example, like the shoes give minus 10 sprint down here, right? Minus 10. So therefore I can't sprint as, as long. But this does not affect climbing. When I click now, the, the climbing meter is like the sprint meter, but it's always the same. So you can see it's full. It doesn't really affect it. The only thing that really affects the climbing meter, if you want to call it that, is the crampons. If you have the crampons on, this drains slower. So now I got about halfway up or so, and I drained about half. Uh, I don't have them on right now, but I could put, put them on. And what happens then is that your fatigue still drains the same. But the, the sprint or the climbing meter is drained slower. But we can uh, wait, and you'll see. And there it's full again, we climb, and now it drains slower because I have the crampons on. That's the <clears throat> that's the main main use. That's the main function of the of the crampons. And there we are. I'm gonna put this back on. And then we're gonna first go to this cave that's over here. It's uh, down here. There's a cave. And then here you can find usually a corpse, guns, 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 book, some other stuff. We could make a fire here if we want. There's also a rope. Another rope we can attach. This has changed, yeah. <laughs> Like that. No guns, guns, guns today. It used to be one of the guaranteed places for guns, guns, guns book. Not today though. We don't need the rope. We're gonna make a fire in the, in the summit plane itself. Let's go do that. We can sprint now. And then we'll loot the summit and get all the good loot. The summit plane counts as kind of like an indoor area, uh, a sheltered area. Not You won't get cabin fever there, so it's fine for like outer loper or whatever. But it's, uh, it is protected, just like a few places in Ash Canyon are protected. So even if the wind blows straight in, it shouldn't blow out. I, I've never had a fire go out in the, in the plane. Okay, here we are. It's quite a view, isn't it? So here is the summit. Got a spray can that we don't need, but... And here's our trusted stim. One of the guaranteed stims in, uh, in, the, in the game on Interloper. You can always find it up here. Might not be this exact location, but it will be here. 
And I'm gonna make a fire. Wonder if I can drop any of this gear. To start warming up. Uh, I want to put it a bit closer, like maybe here or something. Yeah, cattails is fine. Okay, and then we're going to start warming up and we're going to start looting. And we will be heavy doing this. We might even sleep a bit uh, if we have the fire for it. But it doesn't matter if we're heavy because we're going to go back down to Tim Wolf Mountain. Uh, sorry, the mountain is hot. And uh, you can do that easily in just like three minutes or so. All right. Uh, this is why I kept the uh, firewood, because I wanted to burn for a while. I was going to put those on. Alright, and we have a hacksaw up here. Fantastic. Hacksaw. Oh, hey, nice. Grab these. And let's have a look around. If there's any more stuff, there's just around. Before we open anything. There could be something in these crates, so we're going to have to open those. Uh, a book, sewing book, okay. Then we have the container, which has three flare shells. Hooray! No gun, but we already have the gun. Nice. So now we have four shells. Then let's check be uh, this crater, behind this crate, there can be uh, matches. No. If they're not here, they should be inside a crate instead. And then we have fire. This is always there. It's been there before. It's here now. It's always here and it's always in this place. And what some streamers do... Oh, look at that. The flag on is right there. Huh, cool. What some streamers do is... Um, they, uh, when they do it live, they get the chat to guess how much is... What condition the fire strike is in, you know. So you can guess, like, what do you think it's going to be. Fire strike can be anything. I mean, the lowest I've ever seen a fire striker is like 18%. The highest I've seen is a hundred. As it pretty much, the game just randomly picks a number. Let's see what we got. Hope nobody needs Sixty-two, this right in the middle. Not bad. Okay, how much water do I have? Not that much. So I'm gonna, while I open stuff, let's make some water. I'm gonna be here a short while to loot everything and sort ourselves out. Okay, so one thing I think when you open these, if you have two hacksaws. I think it works like with everything else. It chooses the highest conditions. I should choose this one. Let's see what we got. We got coffee. Fantastic. Coffee is good. That's one that's one good reason to go to the summit whenever, even if you go very late. It did indeed use the high condition one. Okay, well that's fine. Then let's open this one. I think this is food. Yeah, the crackers. And ketchup chips. Very nice. And then um, there's a lot few containers here on Interloper. On low difficulty, you'll find more. You'll find like this one here. There's another one here. There's usually one over here. Like three or four more. I think this one here is like coats and stuff. This is water. Or is it tools? Or this is water. I can't remember. Then over there is hides and medicine. Actually, let's do... No, we'll do this first. Okay, let's see what we got. Shoes and socks. Okay, very nice. I think we had a little bit of a glitch there. No, we didn't. It used to be a glitch where you can open the containers twice. It happened in 2020 in uh, an event called Winter's Embrace. But I fixed it now. Hey, Wooltook. Sports Fest. Parker. Hey, another air wrap. Fantastic. It's very good. Uh, wool socks. Thank you. We definitely need to do some repairs. We might do it up here. This is why I placed the fire so far, just so I can stay warm while I do this. Mm. 
Peaches. Wow, wow, one peach. Thanks. A whole whole can of peaches in there. So the Alright. That's pretty good. So a lot of people tend to ask me, is it worth going to the summit if you go late? So we are on day 19. So it's a fairly early summit. You can go on summit day one, provided you get a hacksaw or think you can get one up here. Uh, it is possible to do it. It's a little risky, but it can be done. And uh, people ask me like, oh, I'm on day 70 or day 100. Is it worth going? Shouldn't it all be ruined by now? And yes, the answer is always yes. It's always worth going to the summit, irrespective of when you go. Because you get a lot of stuff that's still good. Like, yeah, you might get, for example, mittens that are ruined. Like, this one will probably be ruined by day 50 or something, you know. But you're not really going up there for the clothing. On lower difficulties, yeah, on lower difficulties, the clothing is a bit more important because you can get expedition parkers and things like that up here. So, okay, on lower difficulties, it's a little bit more important to go earlier. But even so, the stuff you find up here, you can find other places too on lower difficulties. But outside of clothing, you also get other stuff, you know. You, in this case, we got a hacksaw, we got books. There's a distress pistol, there's distress shells. Uh, well, there's this for that matter. Uh, well, there's the clothing. You get some medicine. And uh, yeah, you tend to get tools there as well. So there's all sorts of other reasons to go ahead, not just um, the loot. Okay, now let's open these ones. Oh, very nice. Uh, I think this one here is hides, and this one is medicine. Or the other way around. Uh, this was the medicine one. Okay, let's see. Uh, you don't get stims. On lower difficulty, you can get stims in the container. But on interlope, you don't. You only get the one that's out in the open. This should be hides then, I think. <clears throat> yes, so it's like leather and pelts and stuff like that. Nice. Now, on lower difficulties, there'll be more of these containers around. And one of them will have tools. One of them will have uh, guns. And one will have uh, extra food, like MRE and that sort of thing. So there's a lot more to be found on higher difficulties. Lower difficulties, sorry. Okay, uh, we're quite heavy, but one thing we're going to do... Uh, let's just drop a couple of heavy things so I move it faster. Uh, yeah, just drop these. Okay, I think this is the Polaroid location, isn't it? Yes, the Polaroid location is here. It's sometimes a little bit iffy where to stand. I think it's over here or a bit further up. Here we are. So it says Vista location. You could do it right here. Or you can go to the edge here. It doesn't really matter. And then you should reveal quite a large part of the map. The weather is fine. You can do it now. And then we should reveal quite a large chunk of the map. And there we go. Look at how much we revealed. A whole bunch of stuff. Uh, there's a corpse I haven't looted. We should check that out too. You can see a lot of things. You can turn off the filters if you like. Have a cleaner map. Turn off the uh, plants and things. Like that. You get a much cleaner map. Yeah. So there you go. There's another Polaroid that is here. See it says. It's a bit hard to see. But it says Andre's Peak. The other Polaroid you find is usually here. Okay. So there we go. Very, very nice. Uh, there's also a corpse I haven't looted that's up here. Uh, it's over here. Let's just grab that. It doesn't matter if we're tired because we're probably going to sleep for a bit anyway. I don't really mind if time passes because of the uh, moose curing anyway. Well, here we are. Grab that. Okay. Nothing there. It is possible to go this way over here. And you can get back down to Eric's Falls that way. It's a little bit tricky, but it's not too hard. Or you can get back down to the engine. 
I have a video on how to do that if you're interested. It's the first long dog video I ever made. It was called Climbing Down the Summit Without Ropes. And still, that's an old one. Um, and this is the Timor Mountain Peak. This is the highest point in the region. It is possible to get up there, but it's very difficult, particularly now that the campfire trick doesn't work. I wouldn't really bother doing it, if I'm honest. But you do get a nice view. Okay. So that's... What is that? Is that... I think it's just some stone. So that is it loot-wise for this. Uh, except that... There is also a corpse underneath the plane, but we will grab that corpse after um, after we have uh, finished looting everything. One more thing you can do up here if you want to, just, just for the fun of it, I can just show you. It's actually possible to get on top of the plane, it's not too hard. And you can even make a uh, fire there, we'll just let that uh, burn, it's fine. Well, not burn, but boil. This log here, this tree, you can actually go on top of this. Like that. And then you can get all the way on top of the plane. And there you are. Now you'd think there'd be some hidden loot here or something, but... No, there isn't any that I know of anyway. But, uh, hey, you can get pretty high up. Pretty cool. You can even make a fire here, if you like. As you can see from, from miles away. <laughs> the, 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 the true signal fire of uh, Timberwolf Mountain. If the fire is still burning when we leave, we could light it. And then you see if we can see it from the mountain is hot. We're not going to commit to fuel for that now. There you go. So if you want a really special location, it has one. On top of the top of the plane. <laughs> Alright. Let's go inside. Alright. So now we are very heavy. We're gonna sleep here as well. I don't think we need more water, we'll leave that. But there there are still things to do here. The crates. There are still crates here. Let's uh, put some of this on. Uh, these crates can have loot inside, but for the most part they don't. And in fact, I'm not gonna check all the crates right now. Um, we might come back to the summit one day. I t on long runs, I do tend to return to the summit. Maybe once or twice, so maybe on day 200 or something, to break down the crates, you know, do the miscellaneous stuff. Um, I, as far as I know, most of them will not have anything inside, but there is one that will, and it's usually this crate right here, or this crate here. And we should find matches and accelerant in there. You can also sometimes find rope and... Uh, scrap metal and stuff, but I don't think we'll find that because there was uh, a rope in the cave just back where the, uh, the rope anchor was, you know, so this cave over here there was a rope there, there was also a rope in the cave down here so I don't think there'll be a third rope in, in here so instead we'll likely find matches because the matches here on, in the summit can be under this this wing thing here or whatever this is the plate i guess it's top plate i don't know but if it's not there it can be in here so let's try and break that down to speed things up i think we will use the hatchet and there we go exactly like i thought so you got accelerant and you have two matches very very nice good to have because they were in there there shouldn't be anything in this crate but we can open it anyway, just for the sake of argument. Dusk, so I can't be and there's nothing in it. But if this one over here is empty, usually this in this one instead. Uh, the other crates don't usually have anything, but of course you get wood. Okay, we are going to sleep. Um, I might read first to get some of the books done. Let's see. 
I was going to continue reading the one here, but how long is this one? Five hours. I might read this instead. Uh, until we are too tired. So we can read like two hours. I think that's enough. Okay, then we're going to sleep it, and I'm going to keep the fire burning. I'm going to eat this. Uh, I'm going to keep the fire burning because it can get cold here. If, if a blizzard hits or something, uh, we'll get cold and we don't really want that. We'll cook these uh, cans later. Don't need to do it right now. And we'll also get lighter by putting stuff on the fire. We're getting now to the point in the game where I mostly carry cattails for long journeys or backups. And I like to always have 12 cattails on me. Okay, let's put some wood on here. There we go. So that's uh put put a coal on there as well. So now we can sleep for 10 hours and this fire should not go out as far as I know. Even in bad weather. So we can sleep. And Aurora. Cool. I'm pretty sure all this is a protected area. I've, I've never had a fire go out in this area. If you're absolutely not sure, you could put the fire in this corner over there and it's well protected. Okay. We have slept quite well. We could sleep another... <clears throat> Hour, if you want. I'm not sure if it's really necessary. Okay, so now we're a little bit lighter. Uh, I think I will sleep another hour because it's not the greatest weather out there. It's, it's okay. Sleep another hour. See if it gets better. We can maybe light our little signal fire up there. <laughs> I'm going to actually harvest some sticks. And I'm going to wait this weather out just because I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. I want to I want to put that fire at the top of the plane. I'm going to harvest some of the bad sticks. Okay, uh not bad sticks, sorry, the bad torches. Get some sticks for that. And the fire needs to burn for like an hour or so. We don't need this many torches, so it's gonna drop most of them. Even though some of them are pretty good torches as well. Uh, oh my bad, they are filtered by weight. So I may have, may have harvested a good torch there, but that's okay. If you are high enough fire starting, you <clears throat> you can, in principle, start a fire with one stick, immediately grab a torch from the fire, and then harvest the torch, and put it back on, and grab a torch, and you can actually gain. But it's a bit of a cheesy thing to do. <laughs> I'm going to read more of this, because the weather's not amazing. Now it's better, I think. Uh, very foggy. Let's uh, let's read one more hour. Pick this up and finish this book, and we'll level up mending while we're at it. There we go. And then we're going to actually now we're going to cook these. So I have a can opener. Uh, yes. So I can uh, cook these and eat them. And I especially want to eat the peaches because the peaches weigh a lot. They weigh half a kilo. They don't really give you anything. I mean, they give you hydration and food, but they don't give you very much for how much they weigh. Compared to these, they weigh like 0.1 kilos and give you 600 calories. I don't really care if they're warm or not, I just want to cook them to level up. Okay. 
Uh, can I craft anything? Bandages. We got a lot of stuff here. We don't need this, but I'm just gonna take it with anyway. Uh, I might harvest something that I can harvest quick. 20 minutes? Yeah, that's good. There we are. Take that. Take that. And I'm gonna eat it. Because it weighs a lot. We'll give us some food, we'll give us hydration. But I'm gonna eat these. Eat all of them. And we'll get a can out of it. Okay. Our weight is better. Um, we could harvest something like the gloves and things. But I think we'll do that when we get down. I think we can probably just go. This is uh, good enough. So I'm going to grab a torch. And I'm going to light that fire on, on top. <laughs> just to see if we can see it. The fog is lifting anyway. Because uh, I have never actually checked to see if you can see it from the from the hut, which would be funny. So we're gonna act as a scene. I have, however, lit a torch, a torch, a, a fire up there on the peak. I once lit a fire all the way up there, and you could see it from pretty far away. Let's do the same here. Let's signal. The future sack that we've been here, in case there was any doubt. Then we're gonna head to the hut, and it's gonna be quite easy, especially in this weather. Okay, so here we are, right at the edge. Let's start a fire with the torch. I'm gonna use the book that we've been reading, which is this one. Let's read us some more stuff. Come on, little fire. Oh, I don't want it to burn for like two hours because it's going to take like roughly one in-game hour to get down. There we go. And we'll put on some sticks. We'll put one torch on, a uh, coal rather on there. There we are. I'm going to give it two and a half hours. Okay. Then we're going to head down. <clears throat> we're going to head down to the mountain itself. We're not going to go the way we came. We're not going to go back down the ropes. We're going to go down that's what we're going to do. Let's get a better torch. Better. Well, first we need to check out the last thing to loot, which is down here. We get to this edge here. You can see it's possible to go down here. And down here you have a distress pistol. And then you have a frozen corpse with gunpowder, which primarily is accelerant and interloper. This is the famous double maple uh, corpse you could get in the past. It should be possible to access this. Um, maybe you had to jump down to do it. Actually, there we are. Here's the guns, guns, guns book. There's only a few of these in the game. The interloper makes no difference. But on lower difficulties, you want it. And that's it. That's everything looted. If you get down here and you didn't mean to and you want to go back up, it's easy. You just go back under here and then under here and up. Very, very easy. <laughs> the fire's going through. So then you're back up again. Just go here, you know. Yeah, very easy. But we're going to go down. We're going to go down this slope, this, this white slope, all the way down to Mount Ness Hut. It doesn't matter if you're heavy. So we are heavy, but not super heavy. Uh, we are going to put on the cramp on cell to reduce the sprain risk. And uh, actually, we can have a drink to be slightly lighter. And even if you're carrying a bunch of stuff, so I'm only carrying 10 kilos more. But if you're carrying even more than that, especially if you're playing on lower difficulties and you have a ton of gear, you can still do it. You're going to walk very, very slowly, but you can do it because it's all downhill and it shouldn't take too long. It's very easy to do. You just follow the slope all the way down. You can crouch if you want to. You don't need to, but you can. Then when you get here, you can really choose where to go. It doesn't really make a difference. You can go straight ahead, or you can go to the right. I usually just go straight ahead. And just go down these little rocks here. And then when you get to this part, it's better to go to the right. And find a slope here. 
uh, try and get down to this slope over there, basically, or down here. But you can take full damage. You have to be a little bit careful, you know, where you go. But there's multiple routes you can take. They all lead to the same place. They lead to these slopes. And once you're there, you're fine. So deer carcass there. We're not going to touch that. And now we are. And we didn't actually get sprains. Normally, I always get sprains going down there because it's very steep and you're heavy. So your risk of getting sprains is pretty high. Uh, so it's very common to get sprains doing that. However, because we have the crampons, it's less likely. Here we are at the rope anchor leading down to the hut. And we got some rabbits here. There's usually some saplings around as well. Uh, can be a bear roaming around here, so be a bit careful of that. And there's a lot of mushrooms and things. Hello the rabbit. There's also a container to loot here. Uh, I'm not sure if that's here on Interloper, but we'll have a look at that later. I could maybe see if it's here, because you have to kind of go past it. There are a bunch of containers spread around on Tim Wolf Mountain that contain loot like there is on the summit. So the summit has by far the best loot, and it's worth going up there for that. But those containers that I opened are also in other places in Tim Wolf Mountain. On Interloper, they're not all there, but on lower difficulties, they are. By the way, I'm not going to go down this rope anchor. You can skip this very, very easily. Just go past it and stay on the left, and you'll find a slope down that is very easy to do. I'll show you that first, and then I'll uh, explain about the containers some more. Can you see the... Yay, look at the fire! Look at that. <laughs> Fire's burning. <laughs> The, fi oh, the fog got thicker suddenly. Fire is burning up in the mountain. Oh, I think it's going to clear now, actually. Uh, yeah, it's clearing up. I think if I do this and choose that. Yeah, see, now it's clearing up. Okay. So uh, down here, you can go take this slope down. Very, very easy to do. And then you get home. But before I do that, I just want to check over here. So around here, I can never remember exactly where it is. Um... Here it is, yeah. So here where the crates are. Uh, if you play on lower difficulties, there can be a container here uh, with loot. So you might want to check that out. There's a few other places um, up that way towards... If you just follow the river from the mountainous hut, you eventually get to another set of containers you can open. They're not there on Interloper either. By Eric's Falls, there's a container, which is also not there on Interloper. By deer clearing, there are two containers, but only one on Interloper. And in the ravine, there are two. And those two are also there on Interloper. And then you have the wing where we killed the, the moose, which will go and open. And there's two there on lower difficulties and I think one on Interloper. So outside of the summit on Interloper, there's only... How many is that? One, <coughs> one two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's four containers on Interloper outside of the summit that you can open. But on lower difficulties, there's like whatever the total is, eight or something like that. Eight or nine. Okay, wind is picking up. Will this blow out? Probably. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, I was just about to chuck it. Okay, we're going to change to this. Go from there. Very, very windy, yeah. Uh, 17. Where's my fire? <clears throat> oh, maybe the fire... Blew. No, it's still there, but the fire probably blew out. But it is, it is there. You can't actually see it. There's like one pixel. <laughs> but it probably blew out, though. That was a, quite a good example of weather change, because as you saw... It was foggy, and then it was like a little, almost like a glitch. It just pop, it popped into looking slightly different, and you can see it was brightening up. So that was a clear day. So when the weather changes to a clear day, the magland still works, even if it doesn't look like it. So you can have snow, and then the magland works because it's actually changing. I mean, did they leave anything here? I don't think so. No. <clears throat> All right, let's go and empty our stuff. 
here in our regional base. There's a few things I want to take back to Pleasant Valley. But we're going to leave some stuff behind here too. We got our stuff. Our precious loot. And we've done the summit. Always worth going there. Even if you go there late. Because you always get some nice loot. Alright. Can't see the fire anymore. It's probably burned out. <laughs> Let's get some sticks. And we can make a fire. I don't think we need to though, but we could. Uh, because it is still sunny, even though it's windy. All right, home sweet home. Uh, put this like here or something. Take that to harvest. Uh, that's cured. I have more saplings. So I leave all those. I left all those. Uh, I probably will take these with me, but I'm gonna just leave them here anyway, just to keep things a bit organized. And, yeah, then we have some stuff. Let's drop everything that we don't need to take with us, and we'll go from there. So, one of them I'm using is that one, yeah. Yeah, we might actually just drop it in here. So the books can be used later. Let me just make sure I got the right book. Yes. Okay, uh, accelerant, I guess we can leave one accelerant here. Uh, we can leave this here. Antibiotics we can leave here, for now at least. Same with painkillers, we can leave those. And we can leave... we we'll leave these two for the moose. A couple of these for recovery, we'll organize it better another time. And then we have clothing, we'll take care of that. Uh, this will all take. Uh, I probably will leave the gunpowder here, come back for another time. The cans, we can come back for those another time too. Hack so we can come back for another time. Yeah, I guess that's more or less it. Uh, we'll also drop this. Put this here. Okay. So... I'm going to read a bit or do some harvesting here. Yeah, so, what do we not need? So, we don't need these shoes, for example. We don't need these sports socks. They're horrible. We're only going to use them if our other socks get ruined. And I think, actually, I'm going to read to get some of the reading done until it's dark, and then I'll harvest some clothing. And then the next day, I'll do some repairs, and I'll get the moose stuff as well. So let's read like two hours. It's getting dark. We can read probably one more hour, maybe two for lucky. I think probably just one. Uh, maybe we can two actually. These take ten hours, so we need, still need another four hours. We could light a fire and read it, but I don't think that's necessary. We can try, but I think we can't read another hour here. Too dark. Oh, wow, we managed. Wow. But now we shouldn't be able to. Actually, we're going to get tired anyway. We're not tired, thirsty. Oh, wow. We managed to read. Really? But it's so dark and horrible weather. Uh, it might be because we're outside, technically. Let me see what happens if I try to read one more hour. Oh, it's still working. Strange. I think maybe, this has happened to me before, I think maybe the reason this works is because the mountain air hard is technically outside. You can still get cabin fever here, but because of this you're technically outside and therefore you kind of like have the light of the world to read. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure to be honest. Um, we're gonna harvest a couple of things. We don't need this. Harvest that. And let's harvest the shoes, especially these. 
Yeah, we need to go get some moose meat. Uh, I guess that's probably it. We could harvest these, but I'm not going to right now. Okay, we don't have that much food, but we are going to stock up on that soon. I'm not too worried about it. I like saving these. In fact, I might have a little mission to not eat them. Just put them in my main base. <laughs> Nice, and then we eat. Just eat all these, because we'll find more cattails. We'll just eat most of this. And we'll get some moose steak in a second anyway. Eat one more. Then we'll sleep. But I'm going to be a little bit careful as I sleep, because as you can see, it's actually cold now. And it could happen that I get too cold, so I'm going to sleep four hours we are pretty much full health anyway so we're okay yeah, and now you can see we're actually cold which is not great but we can sleep one more hour it's fine <clears throat> and now we're cold but yeah minus 10 Pretty cold. We could light a fire, but there isn't much we really need other than, I guess, water. But I guess we could do that, though. We could light a fire. And then just make uh, some water. To have them here in the base. And then we can just read while we do it. Or repair while we do it. Wait for this blizzard to pass. Doesn't matter if we kill some time here, we kill a day or two. Get organized, read some books, you know, get some water, repair some things. And then let the hides cure. Okay, so we're going to put this down to make two liters and two liters. Have a drink. And then we're going to read, finish this book. Oh no, I finished the book, my bad, but I meant this repair. Um, it's a condition here. These would be nice to repair. We are almost level 2 sewing. So our success rate should go up soon. Not quite yet. Prepare them again. We failed. One more time. Okay. It is possible to get cured leather. There we are, mending level 2. You can get cured leather by crafting. Uh, if you craft the moose hide satchel, not this one, but this one. If you craft this one with moose hide and then harvest it, you get cured leather. So it is possible to get cured leather. <laughs> okay. Level 2 mending. So now repair chance increased. Let's see. We need to repair the other combat pants. 27 minutes. Perfect. There we go. 97. So this should be better than these. Yeah. As you can see. They give more warmth. We could harvest these actually. Because it's unlikely we'll be using them. Uh, these we could repair as well. What else? The rest is mostly alright. Make some more though. Um, we need to repair the lower condition ones just to have them repaired. So we're gonna do that so they don't uh, get destroyed. This one too. So I wanna keep some of these in my base for future use. 
if necessary. The rest is not that important. This we could maybe repair. Yeah, let's repair this one too. Repairs 40%, so. These, we can wait to repair those. Same with this. How about this one? Uh, not sure if that's necessary. Boots, we could repair the boots. But we need leather for that. Could repair these as well. Yeah, 27. Yeah, we'll repair these. Not great, but we need the uh, wool sweaters. There we are. That's pretty good. Still a blizzard out there, so... Better. Water for future use. It's possible to have four on a row, I think. Oops. Don't think we're gonna have five. No. There we are. Nice. Okay, let's have a look in here. Um, Alright, there's some clothing here we can just harvest. And then I could read something if I want to. We can harvest this while we wait. Get the clothing. We can also harvest... We could harvest these by our weight, but this I do want to harvest. I might try and repair the boots. Weather has improved. How much has it improved? It's okay. Not great. Uh, how long to repair the boots? Now 20. Let's do it. Let's give it a try. Ah, oh, we failed. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna put in here whatever we're not using, except for these two, or three. I'm gonna take those with me. I will leave the cloth there. I will leave all of this behind. We don't need them right now. The book that I read, we can also just leave it. This is firewood now, so... Uh, harvest that, yep. Yeah. I still haven't found any tools. I would like to repair my hacksaws and my lanterns and things. Lantern doesn't really need to be repaired though, but still. This is all good. Because some of this stuff, I don't need it, but I want to take it back to base. That's the main reason. Let me actually check something. If I put this on... Or rather, let's say I take this off. Does this actually give me anything? It does. It does give me one degree, okay. And then we got... We can actually leave the scrap metal here for repairs. So put that in here. And then we got... I think we're quite good now with weight and stuff. Yeah. Six minutes still boiled. We need more food, but we're gonna go get that in a second. We'll get the moose uh, food. And what we could do actually just to lighten the load a bit is to drop a few heavy things here that we don't need right now. Like we don't need this or that. We don't need the bedroll or the hacksaw or the pry bar. So now we're a bit lighter. So when I go pick up the uh, the moose meat, it will be, it'll be better. We could actually make some more water while I'm gone. This takes roughly two hours. Put that on. There we are. That should be fine, I think. Yeah. And the water will just, again... Uh, 
Let me have a little storage bit. Uneven there, but well. And then we can do the same with this. Like, there we are. So now we're carrying a lot less. So we should be good. I could drink a coffee if I want to. Uh, or I could sleep for one hour. But I think I'll just go now. Might drink the coffee, actually. So I'm going to go get the moose hide. Uh, I might drink the coffee when I'm there. And drink the moose. Uh, drink the moose. I'm going to get the, the moose hide. And some of the meat. Take as much of it as I can back to base here. We are pretty good now. And after that, we're just going to head home. Head back to base. And pretty much start crafting. And on the way back... Let me just think if there's anything to check. So we went Sing Hill Farm. Barn. And then Birch Forest. Hmm, yes. On the way back to Trappers, we're gonna take... Oh, let me get the cattails. I need... I wanna have 12 of them. I am gonna do a slightly different route. Because I do want to get... Uh, I check a couple places. So, we're gonna go to Pleasant Valley. Two more. Oh, the wolf is following the deer. Okay, we'll leave that then. Hold on. Give me a sec to evade this wolf. Go for the deer, not me. Please. Yeah, he's still going. He might kill the deer later, but... So, what we're going to do on the way back to Trappers, we're going to do a slightly different route. So, when we came here, we went through Signal Hill. And... Uh, uh, single hill, then the farm, the barn, the birch forest, and that was more or less it. When we go back, we're going to take a different route. We're going to go via the plane crash, because there's a lot of suitcases there that can have good clothing. Now, we already have pretty good clothing. We have ski jacket, we have Mackinac, we have uh, some wool socks, two combat pants and air wraps and everything. We have pretty good clothing. But... There's some things that could be better. We're missing one of these. We're missing other wool socks. This could be better, and both of these could be better. So we are pretty good in terms of found clothing. Ow, but it could be better. I might bandage that because I can't run. I probably will use a coffee here. We'll see, though. We're also going to check this container over here that we haven't opened yet. There's the wolves. There's some birch around here too, but we have got a lot of birch. Okay, the wind is dying down a little bit. This wolf is kind of in the way. I would prefer not to kill it. Just like, make it... Oh, I don't have any stones. Okay. Nice to use them all. And we're going to stick to this thing where we're not going to loot all of Tim Wolf Mountain or anything. We're going to come back here for sure. Right now we're doing the uh, essential runs. And I'm checking a few things while I'm at it. I have been to the summit now. The main point of Tim Wolf Mountain has been completed. But we are going to come back here. And when we do, we're going to check all the little misc areas. We'll map it and spend some time here. Here's the container. Uh, on lower difficulties, there's usually two containers. But in lower, this is one. And I believe this is soup and coffee. Oh, I left the hacksaw behind. Whoops. I was like, oh, we don't need the hacksaw. Derp. Oh, well. That can be... Uh, that can be a little thing. Let me put that. Uh, uh, note, notes to do. No containers in tunnels. Op uh, are open outside summit. Except they're clearing. So don't forget. That was a little mistake there. 
I should have brought the hacksaw for that. I completely forgot. Oh well. Uh, I believe that in there you usually find some coffee and some, I think, soup. Not not a lot though, so it's uh, it's worth doing it, but it's not essential or, or urgent. Okay, so here we are back in our little moose cave. We could maybe even sleep an hour here just to regain some energy before we carry our stuff. Save the coffee. Uh, but I did leave the bedroll behind, so I'm not sure if uh, we can sleep actually. Yeah, this is the problem with like when you dump a bunch of stuff to make yourself lighter, you have to break out of the habit of using them, which uh, you see I'm struggling with. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. Let's eat the scraps. And let's eat a big one too. Let's eat one more of these scraps. I'll have a drink. Do we need to drink a coffee? I don't know. And uh, then we need to grab quite a few things. 97, nice. These are cured, so they won't smell. Fantastic. And grab all of these. 58%. Okay, nice. And then we need to just carry as much of this as we can. And we are going to be heavy, but the question is more how heavy. I mean, we can do probably this. The rest we'll leave behind. That can be a gift for future Zack. Okay. Then I'm going to head home. We might have to kill a wolf because we smell. And they are going to come for us. I'm not going to light a fire just for, for the wolf. If I can avoid the wolf though, that is preferable. Let's see what we can do here. I don't see any wolves so far with it. There he is. There he comes. Let's see if we can... I can't run. <clears throat> ah, because of the sprain, of course. I'm gonna see if I can uh, go around them so they, they can smell me. This one uh, has smelled me as well. Let's see, they're, they're in the like little jogging mode. Looking for me. We're gonna go to where they first smelled me. This one's detected me now. The other one's going to where he first smelled me. And then he's going to go back and choose a location again. And I'm going to try and walk the dog with this wolf. Just outwalk the wolf. Uh, but if I have to, I will kill the wolf. But at the moment, I managed to not kill the wolf. If you're gonna survive a really long time, I'm talking about thousands and thousands of days, it is in your interest to try and avoid killing the wolves. Because uh, you don't really need anything from them in the long run. Like, the pelts can be used for the wolf coat if you want to have that, of course, and you get some meat from them and whatnot. But you don't really need to use a resource like an arrow on a wolf. In my other main run, I pretty much killed a wolf whenever I saw one. I was like, the wolf... The... the uh, what's it called? Like... The destroyer of wolves. So whenever a wolf was in my way, I was just like, oh, let's just kill it. So on my other run, I survived uh, over a thousand days and I killed over 500 wolves. So I basically killed a wolf every second day. Whenever they were in my way, I decided to kill the wolf. But now, because I want to see how I can preserve resources for the long run, I'm basically avoiding killing them. Uh, if I can. Because uh, I don't really need anything from them. They're more, they're more in the way than anything. They mostly just... If I wanted to make the... Uh, the wolf coat, I need to kill them. And if I need to... Um, you know, get some food or guts or something, I'll, I'll do it. But if I kill a wolf, I feel like I should really take advantage and harvest a wolf. I don't really need... I, I don't... 
I don't really want to spend a match to light a fire to get four or five kilos of wolf meat. Especially not this early in the game. In the late game, you can probably in the daytime get away with killing a wolf and then harvest the meat without the fire. And that should be fine. Uh, I would scare this wolf away, but if this is the same wolf as earlier, he has been eating that deer for a long time. I don't know how much there's going to be left of this uh, deer, so I think we'll leave that. Yeah, he's actually finished now, so he ate the whole deer. And now he's coming for me. I think I should be able to get to the hut without engaging the wolves. So the first wolf gave up because I broke line of sight. This wolf is coming. I don't think he's gonna catch up though. I don't think so. Ow. <laughs> he killed the rabbit instead. Is the fire still going? It sounds like it is still going, yeah. Maybe make some teas or something. Just to have it. And here we are, we're back. What we're going to do is we're going to leave a little food supply out here. I, I bet it's on this side actually, because uh, we can put a fire over there. Uh, let's drop most of these. Like that. So now we have food supply. Pick up all of this, and let's just drop this to cure, there. We'll put this sapling here, and we'll put the guts here as well. There we are, nice. Three minutes still boiled dry, wow. Well, I might as well, I might as well make something, yeah, make the birch. Uh, we can put on some sticks. There we are. Alright. So that was quite successful, I will say. Except I didn't loot that thing. But other than that, let's harvest this. We'll sleep here tonight, but I think we should be alright. We got a lot of coffee, but we're going to take that back to base. We're not going to leave that here. I could, though, leave one coffee here for uh, just emergency use. It's nice to have that. And I think that's it. Look how many matches we got. And we can keep making these. As well. We don't need the teas, but it does level up cooking. We might as well do it. And inventory-wise, we are doing pretty well. I'm going to leave the excess cloth here, because it's much easier to find cloth where we're going. So I'm going to leave that there. I like to always carry one piece of cloth on me. Always. Uh, it's one of those contingencies that I always have. So when I travel, I always try to have at least two pieces of coal on me. Uh, you can have more, but it's not that important, but at least two. Because if you're in a blizzard, uh, suddenly, and you can use that to stay warm. And I like to carry one piece of cloth. Because there are different things you could use it for. For example, maybe you need to make a bandage. You ran out of bandages. Or you got attacked and your air wrap is 5%. And you need to repair it quickly or something. There are different reasons why you might need one piece of cloth. So I just carry them with me for that reason. We could read, but I'm not sure if it's really worth it. Um, yeah, we're going to take all this stuff with us. We don't need all of these birch teas. I'm just going to leave them here for future use. Uh, we'll take some, though. And... Yeah, we could actually read a book while we wait for this stuff. 
I think probably the fishing one rather than the carcass harvesting. Because carcass harvesting is the easiest one to level. We're already level three, almost four. And you just you're gonna harvest a lot anyway, so it's okay. Burned. Not burned, sorry. Uh done. We'll also make uh one coffee to carry with us. Let's see how we're doing with the duration there. Let me uh grab some sticks or something. No oh, right, I can't run because of the uh Brain. There's usually a few sticks around here. Let's just grab those. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> At least not right now. We can harvest the branches, but I don't really want to do it right now. There's yeah, the wolf. I thought it was a bit too quiet. <laughs> We can kill the wolf, but like I said, we don't really need anything, so... Done. Make one coffee as well. There we are. How are we doing with the crafted stuff, actually? Um... I think that's more or less it, is it? I think so. Yeah. There isn't really anything else to, to make. No. You can make one herbal tea. Just to have that. Or maybe maybe two herbal teas. So carry one and leave one behind. And I guess I guess we can leave the rest. We can harvest a few bad torches. We might need torches where we're going though. But we'll see. Uh, grab another torch. That's a good torch. Yeah. That's a bad torch. Let's harvest that. And I think that's it. Have I mapped it, by the way? Yeah. I'm going to take these and let's uh, read. Because I'm going to wait for it to be a bit darker. And we can read this book. Well, you're not healthy enough. Oh, because of the pain and ankle and stuff. Oh, this is almost done. We could actually... I'm not sure we can read while we have a sprained ankle, actually. Let's sleep for one hour and see. Okay, so that's... Uh, can I read with a sprained ankle? No. Uh, do I want to bandage it? Yeah, I think so. I want to read. Let's read for two hours. And then we'll see if we can... Can we read some more? I think we probably can. The same reasons we could last time. Too, now it's too dark to read. Hmm. I guess... Maybe it depends on the moon, maybe? I'm not sure about that exact interaction there. Uh, if that's the case, we might as well wait a little bit and harvest something. Let's harvest these shoes. We can actually take the leather with us. We don't need it here. We could also harvest... Ah, I guess we could leave these for now. And we are warm if we stay here. But barely. So we will sleep, but not 10 hours. We'll sleep like 3. If we're going to avoid starting a fire, stay warm, that is preferable. Yeah, so we're still still warm. Sleep two hours. Not to worry about not being full health, because we're pretty high health. And we have a lot of birch tea as well. How many birch tea do we actually have? 
quite a lot. Let me have a quick look outside. It's an aurora, so now we should be able to read because it's light. We got a crescent moon. Ah, uh, these. They uh, spawned in the uh, aurora wolves. Two of them over there. Okay. On the roll, you can check out the computer down the ravine, which we're not going to do. Let's see, can I read now? Yeah. Depends how long this aurora lasts, though. Can we read the last hour, too? We can. Nice. Fishing is level two. Very nice, without ever fishing. <laughs> but usually there's a big difference between level one and two. So um, here, like, the line break has been reduced, basically, and fishing time reduced, so it's helpful. We're actually doing quite well. A rifle, firearm, and a roller will not let be leveled at all, unless I read the books just for the fun of it. But even then, it doesn't really do anything. This we can level if we want to. We might do it one day. Cooking is approaching level 4, so that's great. Uh, how are we doing with temperature? Yeah, we're pretty good with temperature now. So I'm going to sleep maybe 4 hours. And then we'll have a look at the weather. And it's foggy. But it's clear. So I think that's good. Yeah. All right, fellow survivors, I think we'll leave it there. So that was the summit for you. We got a lot of loot, which is great. So that was really good. And we brought all of it back here, even this little fire up there. And we got the moose uh, meat and we got the moose hide curing. So now we're going to do, we're going to take all of this stuff back to trappers. Some of it's just for storage purposes. Some we're going to leave here. And most importantly, we're taking the moose hide with us the entire journey, which is going to be heavy. But we need it because we want to make the moose hide satchel. So I'm going to do that. We're going to go through Pleasant Valley, but we're going to take a different route than we did coming in. Because I want to check the plane crash and also Three Strikes Farm. Where I think there's also a memento cache that I can open. We're going to do that next time. And then we're heading back home. And then it's crafting time and start building the really strong stuff we can use. Alright. Thank you, survivors. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.